And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, certainly a gloomy, cloudy way to kick off the work week. Plenty of cloud cover, but you can now see some of those peaks of sunshine trying to bust through that low-level stratus cloud cover. And we're going to continue to see the clouds at least through the evening hours once we get towards the late night hours, early morning hours tomorrow. Things begin to clear up. And as a result, we'll actually cool down quite a bit overnight tonight. 48 degrees, that's your high temperature thus far. About 8 degrees shy of the average high this time of the year. That's where we are right now as well. Winds are from the northwest, 8 miles per hour. The pairing of the cloud cover, the lack of solar radiation, the, southern, the northerly winds, I should say, keeping temperatures below average today. But because we're beginning to see some of those peaks of sunlight, temperatures are off across the western part of the viewing area where we're seeing not only just some peaks, but actual blue sky at this point. Looking a little bit warmer at this hour. 51 in Attica, Kentland, Rensselaer sitting at 51 degrees as well. A little bit further off to the east. That's where you're looking at those mid to upper 40s. And that's what we're dealing with right now. All of that low-lying stratus cloud cover throughout the region. Holding on all thanks to the round of low pressure off to the east that brought all the rainfall across Greater Lafayette for Easter. And that higher pressure off to our west now situated over parts of Minnesota, Iowa, um, Missouri as well as Illinois at this point. And as that high kicks further to the east, the clearer, drier conditions off across parts of Illinois and Iowa actually kick east as well. And that's going to bring us eventually some clear conditions overnight tonight. So there's your high pressure right there that'll kick east overnight. Some scattered cloud cover still lingering as late as about 11 p.m., but thereafter looking pretty much crystal clear during the overnight hours, early morning hours for your Tuesday. And as we get towards the latter part of your forecast, Things begin to look a bit more spring-like, kind of like the image that uh, David Schmidt sent into our weather center. Magnolia tree by t the Tippecanoe County Courthouse, a beautiful spring-like picture. Temperatures, not so bad, 48 degrees by 7 p.m., 39 degrees by midnight. What's not great are those overnight lows, 32 degrees in West Lafayette, hitting 31 even in Chalmers overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. The good news is as we get past the early morning hours, maybe a light frost, that high pressure system kicks to the east. And I want you to pay attention to how this high is spinning. It's spinning clockwise. Eventually, as it kicks further to the east throughout the day tomorrow, after about your lunch hour, southerly winds return. You pair that with the good amount of sunshine we're going to be seeing tomorrow. We're talking warmer temperatures right on or slightly above average for this time of the year. Notice also off to the west, more cloud cover rain chances. That's the first hints of what's expected to arrive as early as Wednesday or Thursday of this week. 58 degrees, your high temperature in West Lafayette for tomorrow. We're even talking 59, possibly 60 degrees far off to the south-southwest across the viewing area. So 58, your high in West Lafayette tomorrow. A little bit nicer, a little bit warmer, plenty of sunshine. 66, your high in Wednesday. Scattered rain showers do return as early as Wednesday afternoon. Continue throughout Wednesday evening on and off. More Staying chances of rainfall on Thursday. Scattered line of showers and thunderstorms possible that day. We do fall off to 38 degrees that night. And only reach a high of 46 degrees on Friday. A couple isolated showers. Maybe some wintry mix late Friday. Good news is we dry out for Saturday and Sunday. You might have noticed the baseball. I see it. Yeah. That is opening day. Wow. A little bit of a holiday probably for myself more so than the rest of the country. But uh, nonetheless, things look a little bit warmer towards the end of that forecast. Well, as well. It's a sign of the times. All yes, right. Thanks, Kim.